April 25th, 2011. This is today's climate change update. Uh, of course, we're going to start with Fukushima, Japan. Uh, we got a couple of new updates on the RSOE. And of course, you can no longer find this on the current event list. You must go to the map and click on the icon. But I will attach the link to the update for you. Situation update number 97. Now, this was on the 24th. Tokyo Electric Power Company, TEPCO, expects to complete work to clean up radioactive debris at Japan's quake hit Fukushima nuclear plant by July. July. I thought it was going to take six to nine months just to cool the reactors down. Uh, the Tokyo Japanese TV channel NHK reported on Sunday, referring to TEPCO, TEPCO has created a map of radiation levels as part of its removal of radioactive debris at the crippled Fukushima nuclear power plant, the TV channel said. According to TEPCO, highly radioactive debris is lying in some areas of the compound. No kidding. Uh, radioactivity of 900 milliservers per hour was uh, detected on concrete fragments near the third reactor on Wednesday. Now, if you remember, the third reactor is the MOX fuel. That's the plutonium mix fuel um, that they've done away with uh, weapons-grade warheads and turning them into uh, nuclear fuel. And that story goes on. Um, on to situation update number 98. This is the 25th. The amount of radioactivity in seawater near the Fukushima nuclear power plant is about to hit the highest ever level recorded in history. According to, uh, I'm going to slur this, Ashai Shimhun on Sunday, I'm not sure if that's a newspaper or an official, uh, measured 100 to 86 becquerels per liter of radioactive substances in the sea just 34 kilometers from the crippled power plant on April 15th. That's the 15th. This level is about 20,000 times higher than the permissible annual standard set by the Japanese government. Now this is the, the enraged higher levels that they put out. The highest level of contamination in history was 200 becquerels per liter in the Irish Sea in the 1970s when a nuclear fuel reprocessing factory discharged cesium-137. Meanwhile, Tokyo is reportedly considering building an underground wall near the Fukushima power plant to contain the spread of radio attack, radioactive material through soil and groundwater. So now they're going to put a big tarp over the top of these reactors. Remember, they're going to put this big patch over the top of these things. And now they're going to build a big wall to uh, keep the saturated nuclear stuff out of the groundwater. As if. It's just ongoing and nonstop. And of course, I will post the links below. As sure with any other video as I find with any kind of updates today. Now let's, can, let's go to earthchangesscott.net. Strong shallow earthquake hits eastern Indonesia. Um, 6.2 quake. A strong shallow earthquake hit eastern in Indonesia early Monday, sending residents, hotel guests, and patients from hospitals fleeing in panic. Some homes were damaged, windows shattered, and walls were cracked, but there were no immediate reports of injuries. The U.S. Geological Survey said the magnitude 6.2 quake was centered 45 miles or 75 kilometers southeast of Kendari, a town on Swazi Island. The depth is about 6 miles or 9 kilometers. It was followed by three strong aftershocks. And then they get the Indonesia. Orange volcanic alert in Kamchatka. Kamchatka. The Shivolch volcano has spewed a new plume of ash 7.5 kilometers above the Russian peninsula. The ash cloud sprawled 143 kilometers to the northwest. And of course that's uh, right into the Gulf Stream along with uh, many other things that are floating around up there. U.S. preliminary, US preliminary magnitude 3.1 quake rumbles in Arkansas. 
Uh, the U.S. Geological Surveys have recorded a preliminary magnitude 3.1 earthquake near Greenbrier in central Arkansas. Uh, now you remember this is the place where they've had thousands of quakes and they've shut, shut the fracking down. Um, a couple of companies agreed to shut the fracking down to uh, see if this is caused by <clears throat> natural occurrences or actually uh, natural gas extraction. I just, you know, you got to look into what they're actually pumping into the... It's, it's not worth the natural gas. Uh, U.S. California, 3.6 earthquake shakes East County, uh, quake centered near Valencito, about 16 miles southeast of Julian. A magnitude 3.6 earthquake shocked, shook eastern San Diego County on Saturday, according to automated seismographs and computers operated by the U.S. Geological Survey. And, uh, yeah, they're saying people felt that it was pretty shallow. Over to the extinction protocol. Death tolls from floods and, and rainy seasons in Colombia reaches 93. Uh, 93 Colombians have died and 12 are missing because of floods and landslides caused by this year's first rainy season, said the Red Cross on Friday. Uh, the latest victims are two children, blah, blah, blah. Um, and, of course, all the things that go along with torrential rain for, for days and days and days at a time, much like the, the central United States. Swarm of mud, 60 dead in the latest landslide in the Philippines. Again, here we go, torrential rain, severe storms. Uh, severe um, Survivors of the avalanche of mud in the Philippines said today over 60 people were buried alive on Friday's landslide, and the number could be higher than that, authorities had thought. And uh, again, this is from just deluge of rain and over to the watchers we have a smog alert for England and Wales the government has issued a smog alert in England and Wales for ozone and polluting particles known as PM 10s which can affect people's health and uh, they're saying a 70 meter long fissure caused the Pantuquan mudslide in the Philippines and that's basically the same. Yep, they got some pretty, pretty crazy pictures of the mudslide on here. And then there was one more story. Big Sunspot 1195 harbors energy for M-class solar flares. Um, apparently they thought it was important enough to put up a video on that and of course we've all been everybody who's been following the Sun knows that uh, it's during it's gearing up rather nicely for the solar maximum here shortly over to the disaster alert network we have a uh, <clears throat> torrential rains kills at least 10 in Brazil stuff. Got a 5.1 on the Mid-Atlantic Ridge. Five children drown in floods in northeast Syria. So Syria's reporting flooding. And a series of earthquakes were felt on the island of Malta, that is just south of Sicily. Uh, I was, think they were said it was a 3.5, but uh, people definitely felt it. And then finally, um, we've got flash floods reporting out of Spain. They're saying it's very bad. Um, buildings collapsing, bridges, roads, you know, the works. Um, but thankfully, nobody's been hurt. Um, they've had no fatalities anyway. And where was the other one? Flash flooding in Venezuela as well. Um, they're saying they reported a few deaths and uh, it's been torrential rain for the past two weeks and uh, their situation is just ongoing. And that is about it for today. That's as far as all I've got. Um, if I missed anything, please, of course, leave your comments or attach your videos below. Uh, I had a very good day today and uh, I hope you did too. Until I see you next time, enjoy what you can, everybody.